It's the number one killer of women. We're talking about heart disease, but would you know the signs when it comes to heart trouble? You might be surprised to learn chest pain is not the most common symptom of a heart attack. Today, we separate fact from fiction when it comes to heart health. A lot of staying healthy has to do with what we eat. We're gonna learn more about some of the foods that can keep your body going with the new nutrients it needs. Many of us need a break from the bills. Wouldn't that be nice? Oftentimes, the cycle starts in college when students take out loans and run up credit cards just to get through school. We'll learn more about steps you can take to lessen the load. And for a lot of parents, it's already started. I'm bored. Have you heard that yet from your kids this summer? Well, we're going to get some boredom busters to keep them busy. And one way to stay busy, enjoying time out on the water. But is your boat ready for the summer season? We'll tell you how you can find out this weekend for free. Delmarva Life starts right now. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Lisa Bryan. I'm Jimmy Hopper. Welcome to Delmarva Life from Historic Studio D. And are you happy that the rain has Ooh, stopped? Wow. I, that was some rain. <laughs> that it was, was some you know, I got home from, rain. you know, when I got home from work and everything and I had an event to go to, right? it was really hard to just head back out the door. I thought, you know, I just could crawl up. I feel so bad for you because that's exactly what I did. <laughs> you do feel bad for I me. I opened the window and I watched that torrential rainfall and I listened to it and I fell right out. Oh, I was asleep well, I'm happy in no time. for you. It and was, but before, we're very fortunate that uh, we got the rain yeah. and we're also very fortunate that we're not going to have the rain through the weekend right. according to uh, our meteorologist. And one thing that the rain did postpone was the Preston Carnival and parade that was scheduled for last night. Right. Just want to give you a reminder it will be held tonight. Today was the uh, rain date for that so the Preston Carnival and Parade will be tonight at 7. Today Today is also Juneteenth. Juneteenth, that's right. Yeah, it we is. talked about this on Monday's mm -hmm. show. June 19th is known as Freedom Day or Emancipation Day. Uh, it was June 19th, 1865, Union General Gordon Granger and 2,000 federal troops arrived in uh, Galveston, Texas and uh, the take possession of the state and enforce the emancipation of slaves there. So it is a holiday for some states. Well, it started as a holiday right. in Texas yeah. uh, in 1980. So just want to let you know. And it was because the slaves there didn't, didn't know. know. Yeah. Isn't that hard to believe? Yeah. We got Twitter all the time now. <laughs> How could you not know? Yeah, right? Yeah, that was some good stuff there. We'd like to say congratulations to someone that we have featured right here on Del Marva Life. You know Pocomoke City Police there Chief Kelvin Sewell. He was honored Tuesday by the Worcester County Public Schools for his outstanding contributions to the service of the youth in Pocomoke City and Worcester County, presented the Youth Service Award. And Thank you, Chief. Well deserved. Yes. Definitely. Great guy. Uh, you know, he is a uh, former Baltimore City oh, it, uh, uh, homicide detective. detective. Right. Yes. Well, someone else who worked for Baltimore City Police is coming to Delmarva. We're talking about the uh, police chief. Yeah. The Ocean new City. police chief, Lieutenant Colonel Ross Bazzuro is a 28-year veteran of the Baltimore City Police Department. He starts July 2nd as a replacement for Bernadette DePino. Yeah. So welcome. Great stuff. Glad to have Bringing you here. Bringing them down from Baltimore. See, we'll, we'll share our land with anybody. <laughs> Just come on. Uh, so we're talking police. Yes. Let's let's do some equal billing here. Let's talk about fire. Uh, maybe new life coming to the old Salisbury Firehouse. Yeah. I've always loved this building. I don't know why. Uh, take a look at this picture. This is Brad and Palmer Gillis uh, standing in front of the old Station 16. You remember five years ago, uh, the company moved out to Cypress Street in their new building. Right. I got to take a tour of that new building. Yeah, it is wow. nice. What an incredible place. G Plus Properties LLC is proposing to turn the old place, the old fire station, the ground level, into a visual and performing art venue, carving out the top floor into about four apartments. Okay. How cool would that, that be? That is nice. I just want the brass pole in my... <laughs> no need for an awesome. elevator. No. Well, you have to go back upstairs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See, I didn't think it out. Well, I didn't think about that part. You didn't think it out. No. Speaking of thinking, and we'll say and doing, um, this is really interesting. A NASA Terrier improved Orion subordinal sounding rocket. I'm glad you tried to say that because I couldn't have got it out. I said it one word at a time. <laughs> carrying, I'm not done yet, carrying experiments developed by students from across the nation is scheduled to launch from Wallops Island tomorrow. Okay. This is a program that they do every year, and I've actually covered it before, so it's really neat. The experiments were developed through the Rock On and Rock Sat C programs conducted with the Colorado and Virginia and Space Grant Consortia. The programs are designed to provide participants 
an introduction into building small experiments that can be launched on sounding rockets. They have more than 100 students down there, and it looks like it's going to be a great day. They're supposed to launch between 5.30 and 10 a.m. Right, right. tomorrow morning, Thursday morning. Talking to Brian Keene this morning, and we, of course, said the line that you always have to say, weather permitting. And he said, yeah, I just got off the phone with weather. Weather is permitting. <laughs> weather is so. permitting for everything. So that's really neat, I, those kids getting to do that. I never had opportunities like that when I was a kid. No. Well, we did the little rockets. Yeah. I spent a long time on one for Carol. She did a project in her classroom. Yeah. And we did the model rockets. Uh -huh. And I spent a long time on it. I wanted it to be right. The fins lined up. And I know Bob will appreciate yeah. this because he, oh, he's yeah. in the model rockets. And I remember when we got it out there and hers was the first one to go. Never saw it again. <laughs> it's still out there. It's, it's probably there orbiting. Somewhere. Maybe that. Yeah, we'll go with there, that. Let's go we'll, with we'll that. Go with that's that. That's it's orbiting. Thing. You know, we have been talking climate change with mm -hmm. all the severe storms going on, the tornadoes out in Oklahoma, the hurricanes that have been hitting here. Um, now it looks like it may be affecting the fish. Really? Uh, this may sound kind of funny to you, but uh, Dr. John Hare says the warmest sea surface temperatures of the last 150 years are causing the fish populations to go northward. Okay, now you see there, if you look to the left side, there's Delmarva. Uh -huh. And all these areas up towards Maine, um, they are now finding black sea bass in the Gulf of Maine. That's never happened. Well, it's happened before, but it's been a very long right, time since it's right. happened. Um, also, Bill Baker, who's a fisherman and charter boat captain at Bill's Sport Shop in Lewis, says he's seeing more speckled trout, which is something that you usually catch south of Ocean City. Ah. Um, he says he's been seeing more blowfish as well than ever before in years. So, so apparently everything's what, going north. Everything's moving north, and it's like you're catching more, this makes sense, Florida fish here, here. now and catching more of our fish up around Maine. Right. So. Wow. I guess we, we, ha we start worrying when penguins show up in Florida. That could be a problem. Yeah. That might be an issue. We'll but watch out. Nice. You never know. Um, Oxford's most famous actor, David Henry Foster, died at his home Saturday, mm -hmm. just a month shy of his 87th birthday, so we extend our, uh, our condolences to the family. I, this is the first time I, I heard this story, and I thought this was fascinating. He met his wife, Fiona, in 1982. Fiona had put an ad in a Washington magazine that read, Country Mouse Wants to Meet City Mouse. She got about 65 responses. David's was one of them. The two actually became proprietors of the masthead in 1984. Now, while living in Oxford, David actually began participating with productions in the Tread Avon Players. He continued to work as an actor, a playwright, a director, a producer. He even cooked for the dinner theaters oh my uh, all the way up until uh, his death. So our condolences to the family. Uh, David Foster will be greatly missed. But wow, what a fascinating story. You know, um, the, the, we're starting to see more circles, uh, d traveling circles, driving circles around, right. uh, you know, and of course the one in Georgetown's been there forever. I want to give you a little bit of a heads up for some of you. Uh, there's go actually going to be some lane closures in mm -hmm. Georgetown starting tomorrow. Now, after passing through the circle, don't do like I do and keep going. And keep going. Um, <laughs> the circle on Route 9 headed toward Lewis, they're upgrading the traffic lights on Route 9 at Ray Street. Now, that's actually the first traffic light after you come through the circle, am I right? Right, right, on your right. way to Lewis. So it comes up fast. So so flaggers will be there between 9 and 3, so keep your eyes open. Mm -hmm. If you if you want to find out the details and you need more traffic information, we'll put that information on delmarvalife.com. But as I said, if you're traveling that way, you want to keep alert. Start tomorrow, so pay attention. Mm -hmm. uh, by the way, the Dew Tour taking place this Thursday through Sunday Starts in Ocean tomorrow. City as well. So if you're going through Georgetown on your way there, well, anyway. <laughs> uh, if you want to find out more, you can go to delmarvalife.com for uh, the schedule of the events. And you can purchase your premium passes there as well. Going to be great weather for the event. And uh, Brian's talking to some of the guys yeah, there. Well, uh, guys and girls, I need yeah. to be careful there. Yeah. That are going to be at that show. Tomorrow. So that's going to cool. be terrific. Yeah. Apparently, speaking of sports, a lot of people have been watching basketball. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that, that round ball thing. <laughs> that, yeah, the a little bit of basketball thing. going on. Yeah. Apparently, it's down to game seven, and the Miami Heat and the San Antonio Spurs are both in a position to take it all. One game is going to decide. Now, last night the Spurs were up by five. They could have taken the series, but they lost in the last 20 seconds. Now, I'll admit I missed the game because yeah, it was I didn't late. See it I, was, I was in bed, 
and uh, a cat was telling us uh, yeah. uh, that, that it was down to the last 20 seconds, no defensive rebounds, nothing but offensive rebounds, and that was what made that game right there. I think there were two three-pointers in a row. LeBron yep. got one, and, and then boom, 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 and it's over. On to game seven. 103 to 100 but in yet, overtime. So I like games like that. Yeah, I, I think everybody does. Yeah. You know, you don't want an upset. So yeah. game seven is Thursday night. Thursday All night. Right. All right. And there you go. Well, still to come on Delmarva Live from heart attack patient to a marathon finisher. It is one of the things I'm most proud of. What this woman wants you to know about heart health. Plus, a tiny little device used to open a blocked heart vessel. What makes it different from traditional stents and how it's being used right here on Delmarva. Eating healthy is one way to good heart health, but are you getting all the nutrients you need from the food you eat? How to be sure and which foods pack a powerful nutritional punch. And you probably already know, if not, take this heads up. A college education can put you deep in debt. As a matter of fact, most college graduates will take out loans to cover the costs. We're going to find out how to make it through college and on to the career without owing a fortune. Del Marva Life, we'll be right back. Del Marva Life is brought to you by Sussex County Federal Credit Union, guiding you to your financial future. Peninsula Regional Medical Center, honored to serve the entire Delmarva Peninsula since 1897. Your local York and Mitsubishi dealers, and State Farm Insurance. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. <laughs> 